the narratives that are wrong, to see quote unquote fake news. When you see stories uh, get perpetrated that are f absolutely false, that are not based in fact, that is troubling. And he's rightly concerned. Can you give an example of fake news, Sean? Can yeah, you give absolutely, us an example? Jim. I'll give yeah. you an example. Please. Sure. Uh, Friday, the president was having a great discussion at the G7. And someone from the BBC and ultimately an incoming reporter from the New York Times retweeted that the president was being rude by disrespecting the Italian prime minister. And when, when in fact you all in every one of the meetings that we sit and watch the president with that one earpiece that's been used by other presidents, and yet uh, the president did a great job at NATO, building stronger bonds, building stronger bonds to the G7, increasing America's presence around the world. And that's the kind of thing that, that the BBC and ultimately the reporter who's now joining the New York Times push out and perpetuate with no apology. What, you're shaking your head, Peter. I mean, it's true. You did it. No, I, and I'm answering James, but, but I think, but I, but I guess, I guess that's, make mistakes, no, no, but that's uh, not, but, but that's just fake. That is a fake, that is a, your trip was all over the front page. You're making something out of one tweet instead of the. the but but again, you, you guys defend your mistakes like that. With all due respect, I was asked to give I, I was asked to give an example, and I did it. Prominence uh, than anybody ever. I, I just I gave an answer to Jim. The problem is is that I think the president, to the question, gets frustrated when he sees fake stories get published, things that aren't based in fact, and a narrative well, gets pushed. Though. That's just so oh, I, yeah, so that that's just well. With all due respect, I think when you see instances like that get perpetrated over and over again. Um, that is frustrating. I, I'm not, no, I'm not here. I didn't come here with a list of things, but I think that there's, well, well, thank you. I appreciate it. What you get to decide what's big and what's not. I think this, there, there's a lot of the stuff that has gotten pushed out based on unnamed, uh, unaccountable sources that is very troubling. And I think when you see the same kind of thing happen over and over again, uh, it is concerning. And I think the president has fought very hard to bring back jobs. You, as I mentioned, you had over half a trillion dollars of investment that's coming in that's going to grow jobs, grow our economy, that should be a big story. The President's uh, results when it came to fighting terrorism uh, was a big thing. The idea that we're standing up a global center to fight extremism in Saudi Arabia that's uniting Muslim countries, that's a big deal. I think that reports that there's going to be an overhaul of the communications wait, wait, how do, or fake news? <laughs> I think, <laughs> that's where the question I know, so now you want to come back to that. What I'm telling you is, is that the reason that the President is frustrated is because there's a perpetuation of false narratives, a use of unnamed sources over and over again about things that are happening that don't ultimately happen, and I think that is troubling. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Kushner fake news. Mm. <laughs>